Hey everyone, welcome back for another Cookie Run Kingdom episode. So in this episode, we're going to discuss more about toppings. So toppings, we have been, you know, we have been taking this for granted. More or less, we've had a couple of core toppings that we have used. But what are the other toppings that we can use? So that is actually what we're going to discuss today. And how do they play or how are they used in this game? Okay, so basically this is more of a advanced um, combination of, uh, of what do you call this, of toppings. So we'll use Rai Cookie as an example. So right now, Rai Cookie has only one topping. So he has um, only searing, searing raspberry. So he, but he has a small version of searing raspberry. So if you take a look at this portion of um, of the topping so again you see there you have five to choose from so um in terms of um getting that set effect okay i'll show you an example on on how does it add on to your bonuses okay so let's find a searing raspberry that is bigger so that i can equip it so here we have we are so wait wait <laughs> okay so here we are so again she already has one equip i'll equip another one okay still no set effect but take a look at on the third one okay so once you equip three toppings basically your set effect your set set effect a will trigger okay Next would be your, if you equip, for example, another two, another two searing raspberry. I'll click one here and I'll go back to where I got the extra small because I, I'm sure I don't have any medium available. So let's click on one. Okay, before that, you see here, uh, set effect B has none. But when once you click equip, with the same kind of topping, it triggers your set effect B. So basically, you have two set effects. You have um, the one here on the left side and one here on the right. Okay. Okay. But if you decide to more or less um, use a different type of type of what they call this a topping. Let's say, for example, I'm going to take two off. going to spend gold for this one. So remove one. So, so your set effect actually uh what do you call this disappears for your set b but what if you want to equip her with with for example for example this is an example i'm gonna just take this off later um this one swift chocolate and another swift chocolate so basically you still retain one set effect so basically what it says is you don't necessarily have to equip um, all five slots of toppings with the same type okay there is an advantage to having the same type but again as we progress in this game more or less you'll be needing other you know other effects to maximize your cookie so again first part is a mono mono topping which is five of the same type which is this one this is actually again a mixed type so two types of toppings basically to still trigger your set effect for a so i'm going to remove this one again so that we could have another set so and this one so again there you go so with all um searing raspberry you get two set effects okay so let's go to the individual um, individual toppings and more or less discuss what they bring to the game. Basically, I've 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 I've, um, I've um, categorized the toppings. You have your primary toppings, which you will be using the most, and the others will be your secondary toppings. Okay, so your one of your primary toppings would be searing raspberry. I'll just stick to this one um, because searing raspberry you will be gi given a attack percentage which is actually very valuable in this game even actually healers um scale off their healing um because of their attack so 
um, Syrian raspberry is actually one of the most used um, and is considered a primary topping. It can be used um, solely for all slots for Syrian raspberry. So that is why Syrian raspberry is one of the top toppings that we have in this game. So again, it can be used with your healers, damage dealers, more or less all of the cookies can use this one because they still deal damage and even the healers need you know to scale up their attack okay so next would be your swift chocolate actually for the primary toppings i only have three in the specification so swift chocolate cookie i'm oh, sorry swift chocolate is actually the second one so basically what um swift chocolate does is again increases cooldown in which you need effects to you know to it to to be to have a shorter cooldown so that you can cast them again so some of the cookies that use this would be pomegranate, mint cookie, licorice, and tiger lily. Okay, so those are the most um the, the, the some of some of the what do you call this? Some of the cookies that use this one. Um, because they usually put out status effects. Like for example, for Tiger Lily, she has stun in her skill, which you want that to cycle again quicker. Licorice is more on is more on what do you call this? Minions and mint mint would be increase in attack speed and pomegranate is increase in attack percentage together with both of their heals so pomegranate and mint have heals as well but again they are more valued for their increase in attack speed and attack percentage okay so our next um, topping to round out the primary topic would be hard walnut so basically for hard walnut it gives defense in terms of its primary stat again i forgot to mention that once you level up your cookies it gives you additional stats so these are basically randoms the bonus effects so you can get either attack speed cooldown amplify buff crit uh crit percentage damage resist percentage and debuff resist percentage so again every time you level a cookie up you will get additional stats as bonuses aside from your primary stat Okay, so more or less for for hard walnut, most of most of the cookies that use hard walnut would be your frontline cookies. So your charge and defense cookies, mostly your defense cookies, because they need to be to be tankier with higher defense. That is why it's a it's a preferred you know it's a preferred topping for your frontline cookies. Okay, so again, those are the top. Sorry, those are the primary toppings that you need to know in terms of usage. Again, you have Searing for additional attack percentage, Swift Chocolate for cooldown percentage, and Hard Walnut for defense per, uh, defense percentage. Okay, so again, um, you've seen there in my example, like for example this one, the secondary toppings are usually placed um, after the first three. Like for example, again, I'll try to remove this one. So basically for your primary toppings, they're usually there to add the set effect. That is why they're set as your primary toppings. Your secondary toppings would either be the same kind of topping for the remaining two slots or they would be different. You could actually mix and match. But for this one, I would recommend that it's the same type of topping for the remaining two slots because again you should be able to i would recommend that you maximize um the secondary toppings with with the with the uh with the toppings that you're going to put there so among the secondary toppings that we have the first one would be solid almond okay so solid almond is actually secondary because again it's 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 going to give damage damage resist okay and this can be paired with your defense um what do you call this with your hard walnut uh with uh, additional percentage defense and this one is damage resist usually i would you know i would see that as a as they play off each other this is actually a good pairing to add to your to your what do you call this to your um defense which is hard walnut okay so the next one in terms of in terms of toppings for secondary would be healthy peanut okay healthy peanut is actually added as a secondary uh, topping because 
some of your cookies are a bit squishy. Okay, I, I, I admit that. Some of them are squishy. Some of them are in the back. Usually, it's either, they're usually in the mid or in the back part. So they are usually prone to range or ambush attacks. So these are your healers. Like for example, you could add this to you could add this to mint just in case you need him to survive more. You could add this to your other healers who are squishy in the back. You could add this to your um, rangers who are also squishy. Um, Tiger Lily, you can also add this because when she jumps to the front. Um, she is actually prone to counter attacks after her stun. So basically, your healthy peanut is just being used to bolster the HP of your of your squishy um, cookies. Okay, next would be you have here. Actually, this is my fault. Bouncy caramel. I level it up to plus ten. So this is actually my fault because I thought. The attack speed would play a big part in terms of uh, in terms of the skill, but no, it usually plays off the um, the normal attack for each cookie. The next would be juicy apple jelly. Okay, so increase in crit percentage. So basically, what it does is increases the chance for a co a, a cookie to deal critical damage. Okay. So if you can see here, I'll take you back to a to Rai Cookie. So it's here. So the stats that are here available that you can see would be HP, attack, defense, crit, percentage. So crit percentage is basically is basically um, here. It's very low at five percent. Just in case you want to you want to pump it up or, or to add to the certain percentage, you equip. Um, a number of juicy apple jellies depending on which cookie you're going to use okay so next would be hearty hazelnut so hearty hazelnut is crit resist okay um the one thing that i didn't understand in terms of crit resist is um crit resist in critical damage i think so um, or resist in, in, in critical hit to trigger. So I'm not really sure about Hearty Hazelnut, but more or less um, Hearty Hazelnut is one of the one of the toppings that we, you know, I, I still have to check w what does it do or w what does it contribute to in terms of your stat. But basically, if you want to resist either critical hit or critical damage, this is your cookie in terms of your secondary toppings. Okay, so for your last two cookies, more or less, uh, sorry, last two toppings, more or less, you have sweet candy and fresh kiwi. So your sweet candy is this one and your fresh kiwi is this one. Okay, so what we have here now is sweet candy. So sweet candy amplifies buffs of a certain percentage okay i'll take you to a different infographic in terms of what are the buffs that this um that this topping can amplify so okay so in terms of beneficial buffs so buffs are helpful effects that come in many flavors such as increasing a cookie's attack or defense okay if you equip a cookie with a topping that has an amplified buff effect it offers an extra boost for the cookie the toppings will either increase the buffs helpful effects or lengthen its duration okay so those are the two you know two types of effects that the amplify buff can give so again here <clears throat> a list of buffs that have increased duration would be increased attack <clears throat> increased defense increased attack speed increased critical strike chance which is, I think, increased crit, damage reduction, immunity, taunting. Okay, so taunting is a increased buff duration. So take note of that. That's for milk cookie. Again, so for a list of buffs that have increased effects. Okay, so health recovery, increased effect, vampirism, and health shield, shield etc. So more or less, again for this type of topping these are the buffs and these are the durations or the effects that it will you know that will trigger okay so that's it for your sweet candy um 
topping. Our next would be your fresh kiwi. So fresh kiwi, on the other hand, is debuff resist. So it resists a certain percentage. Again, I'll take you to another infographic in terms of um, what debuffs that it can resist. Okay, so for har harmful debuffs, debuffs are negative effects that range from reducing a cookie's attack to inflicting harmful statuses such as poison. If you, are, if you equip a cookie with a topping that has a debuff resist effect, it offers some protection from debuffs from the cookie. The topping will either reduce a de debuff's harmful effects or shorten its duration. Again, similar to your buffs, so this is the reverse. So list of debuffs that have reduced durations would be reduce attack, reduce defense, reduce attack speed, stun, shackles, okay? And the list of debuffs that have reduced effect would be poison, okay, and etc. So more or less, take note of these because this will, you know, come into play in terms of matchups, come into play in terms of PvP, um, and also other game modes in the game. So take note of either debuffs or buffs as um, as a, what they call this, as an effect. Hey guys, more or less, this is your advanced guide on toppings in terms of um, in terms of gameplay and in terms where where the game is going to. As soon as we receive um, larger toppings, we would be able to mix and match almost, you know, at least uh, at most three kinds of toppings, or at you know at least two two kinds of toppings. So again, um, if you have any questions, comments. Put them down below, um, especially if I miss something in terms of the toppings. Again, stay safe, take care. This is the Warden, and I'm out of here.